The Aperture Amaran ALH160 is a portable LED lighting system, battery powered using either camcorder batteries or AA batteries. Uh, it contains 160 uh, LEDs with a color rendering index of 95. I'm going to compare this aperture light with a homemade 96 LED lighting panel and a 125 watt compact fluorescent light and see how they compare. So as I mentioned, the uh, Amaran HL or the ALH160 aperture light is portable. It's about the size of a 6x4 pitcher, um, around about one and a half inches deep. Not very heavy, very very portable. Runs off six AA batteries. They can be rechargeable or disposable type. It also takes the Sony NP style batteries. But it does actually take, and it's in the literature, that it takes the NPFV version of the uh, batteries, which is the smaller one that you'll find on a lot of Sony camcorders. This is actually quite handy because you've got a massive range of batteries to be able to choose from to be able to power this light. One word of warning though, it does look like, it doesn't state it on the literature, but it does look like you cannot run AAA or AA batteries and the Sony or the external camcorder style battery at the same time. It does look like they share a common uh, power rail. So I don't like unboxing so I'll be pretty brief on this one. In the box you get some literature, you get the light itself, you get a uh, little bracket that slots on any of the four sides of the light which has a quarter 20 thread in it for attaching to any quarter 20 thread accessories. Uh, it also has a hot shoe adapter with uh, two cam joints so it's a fairly flexible uh, cold shoe adapter I should say and it comes with uh, two uh, front panels that clip very conveniently to the front of the light one gives you a diffused white light and the other one gives you a tungsten styled light on the back of the light there is a battery testing function this will test the uh, AA batteries that you have inside or the uh, camcorder style battery on the outside of the unit and there is one dial to turn on the light and to increase the uh, brightness level. It might not be super clear or evident on camera but the color rendering of the light is very very neutral much more so than my DIY LED panel uh, and even more so than a 5500 Kelvin compact fluorescent light that I typically use. Uh, as far as brightness levels go, when this thing is turned up on full power, it is very similar in brightness to a 125 watt CFL, but it does have less spill, less coverage. Most of the 125 watt lights, the CFL variety that you would use, would be focusing back into some form of umbrella and therefore giving you a much broader dispersed light. The Aperture ALH160 is a little more focused, probably offering what I can conceive as about a 60 degree spill and you get a little bit more and a bit more of a softened light when you add the white diffuser to the front of the unit. So I've just got a lighting scenario set up here on the bench. Uh, using the uh, aperture box itself as the focal point and I'll just flick between some compact fluorescent lights uh, the aperture light and my DIY LED panel and give you an example of how well this light actually does in compared with those other two and it could actually be your main key light it's that strong in a close environment so I am looking forward to adding another one of these to the collection and having a few more lighting options as well as looking at some of the other aperture lights on offer. So all in all I would say this is an excellent uh, light, fantastic light output for its size, very convenient, very portable, number of different ways of powering this and hooking it up to accessories, mounts and so on. Uh, a terrific little light, highly recommend it. The only criticisms that I would have of this light is that I have noticed the most minuscule amount of flicker at certain points throughout the dialing range. It only works as you're rolling through the dial, not when you stop, so it's not going to affect any uh, photography or video work. 
and the external battery, the uh, camcorder style battery, when you attach that to the uh, outer case, it is sometimes a little bit too difficult to get off. I would have liked that to have been a little bit easier. But aside from that, a superb compact light and highly recommended. So thanks very much for watching. If you found that video useful, please give it a thumbs up and by all means subscribe and I hope you'll join me again in a week's time.